Okay, so, um, do you know what? I've had a rubbish couple of days emotionally. I haven't really found myself. Um, anyway, uh, woke up feeling more positive today. I thought I'll try out a different pancake recipe. So here goes. Uh, I have done a similar recipe before, but this is another one I found just Googling, looking around the internet, and here it is. So uh, roughly 110 grams of cottage cheese. And I've got two egg whites. Now, they're going into my food processor. Just pop that in. I like a bit of noise. <laughs> and then go the egg whites. Okay, lid's going on. And then I'm going to give those a whiz up. Sorry about the camera movement. Just little old me, no helper. that looks smooth to me so what's next okay um, just going to measure out a tablespoon of sweetener and a teaspoon of vanilla extract and some cinnamon should keep in my cake sprinkle jar there oops one second oh, look I'm getting my scales all messy I love these scales uh, okay so I've measured out 20 grams of oh, it's just regular porridge oh, it's cheap one from Aldi and in my blended, I've got a tablespoon, in my food processor rather, a tablespoon of the cinnamon sweetener, a teaspoon of uh, vanilla essence, and the oats are going in. I'm going to give those a whiz up. So that's whizzing up nicely, and I just added the cinnamon in, putting the top back onto the food processor. Oh, look at the mess I get. I'm such a messy cook. Anyone else that makes it? So I'm going to leave that whiz away for 50 minutes and then I'll be ready to start. Uh, okay, so there's the batter. And it, that's the uh, empty food processor. It's come out pretty clean. <coughs> Excuse me. Heating up my uh, crepes pan. Bought this pan ages ago. It's quite expensive for what it was. Had it from John Lewis. I think I paid about £40 for it. To me, that's a lot of money. For some people, I suppose it's not um, so expensive for a pan. Some people spend a fortune on posh pans. <coughs> anyway, I'm rambling. So, I'm going to make smaller um, pancakes. I'm going to stack them up. Hopefully, they'll turn out okay. I decided to have blueberries with them. I've had blueberries in ages. I'd, well, well, I'd take that back. I do buy frozen ones, I mean fresh ones, but the fresh ones are so expensive. But, you know, I thought I deserved it. <laughs> deserved to have a treat. So I'm going to leave those bubble away until, sorry, cook, until a little bubble start appearing in them. And then I will know they're ready to flip over. So fingers crossed. Okay, so I've flipped the first one over and they are um, they are looking really, really lovely and they smell great. Uh, they're not like, I suppose, a normal pancake where it's light and crispy and thin. They're a bit thicker and fluffier, but I guess they're going to be quite filling as well, which is something I always like to consider. So why am I using um, cottage cheese, you might ask? Well... I do believe, for me personally, if I have as much protein in my system as possible, uh, amongst all of the healthy things as well, of course, uh, protein fills me up uh, longer. And um, I generally find, on uh, no count, I have a great range of um, vegetables and fruit and protein and carbohydrates, everything I need, and minerals, etc. But I just have found, for me personally, incorporate a little bit of extra protein here and there where I can has helped me get through uh, a day, it's particularly a hungry day. So there's the finished breakfast. 20 grams of oats, two egg whites, 110 grams of fat-free cottage cheese, made some fun and um, whisked it all up and made some amazing um, pancakes. I've topped it with cork, fat-free cork that I've flavoured with 
uh, toffee drops, the flavour drops, they're sugar free, calorie free. And I thought my um, kiwis were off, but they're not. I bought something I didn't realise, I bought some golden kiwi and some lovely blueberries. I think it's time to tuck in. Yummy.